Do-it-yourself, self-service for your Motorola phone. If the troubleshooting techniques in our previous videos didn't solve your phone's problem, a factory data reset, or FDR, is the recommended next step. Resetting your phone returns it to what we call factory settings, or out-of-the-box condition. It's as if the phone had never been activated. If your phone worked when it was new, an FDR should return it to working condition. If the FDR does not help, your phone may need to be repaired. At the same time, any time you send your phone in for repair, you first need to perform a factory data reset to remove sensitive data and to allow us to access your phone. So either way, this is a sensible step if your issue hasn't been resolved with our earlier troubleshooting videos. While we're on the topic, let's clear up a common misconception. Resetting your phone will not roll back the software to its original version. It will stay on its current software, but the software will seem brand new and the phone will need to be activated. Since an FDR will erase your user data, you might want to back up your phone before doing this. Android has many tools to help you back up a phone. Most of your essential information, like email, contacts, and calendar, are associated with your Google account and are automatically backed up. That leaves some specific, on-device items, such as photos, videos, and SMS messages, which will be erased with an FDR. You can use tools like Google Photos to back up photos automatically. Look in the Google Play Store for other options and for tools for backing up SMS messages and other things you want to save. Remember, newer Android devices and some older ones have kill switch protection installed. This simply means that in order to FDR a phone, you must know the Google password associated with an account on that phone. This keeps thieves from resetting and using stolen phones. So be sure you know the passwords for any accounts on your phone before performing the reset. Before you can attempt a factory data reset, your battery must be charged to a minimum level of 25%. Now, to conduct an FDR, go to Settings, find Backup and Reset. After an FDR, we suggest not restoring your applications immediately, as the configuration you were using could be the cause of the issue. Touch Factory Data Reset, and then touch the Reset Phone button on the bottom of the screen. Finally, touch Erase Everything to confirm. Your phone's current software will be reset. If the FDR didn't solve your problem, you will have to take additional steps. You can visit forums.motorola.com. Other owners can help you with these processes and provide other troubleshooting tips. You can even find help there with highly technical issues like Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connections. Another great source of help is the troubleshooters found under Get Help at Motorola.com. There you'll also find user guides, FAQs, and other resources. If none of these items solve your problems, you can find additional help and instructions on submitting your phone for repair on the Motorola support website. Congratulations! If you have watched the four videos in this series, you are ready to troubleshoot most problems on Android phones, and you can help others as well. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for more videos in our Do-It-Yourself series.